Let us pray. Father, we thank you for forgiving us of our sins. We thank you for this message on today. Open up your people's ears and let them hear. And just bless them with this message. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to turn your books to Amos 2, 10 through 12. That's Amos 2, 10 through 12. And I'm coming from the New King James Version, which reads, It was I who brought you up from the land of Egypt and led you 40 years through the wilderness. I raised up some of your sons as prophets and some of your young men as Nazarites. But you gave the Nazarites wine to drink and commanded the prophets, saying, Do no prophecy. Amos 2, 10-12 It's funny how today everybody wants a prophet to tell them their future. But there was a time in Amos' day where the people did not want to hear the prophet prophesy any longer because they did not want to hear the truth. And the truth was God said, repent and turn from your evil ways. Today, prophets are prophesying prosperity, health, and this is what the people want to hear. But they should be hearing what was preached in the past, repent, repent, and turn from your evil way. For our God is God, and he is a jealous God. Amos prophesied during a period of national optimism in Israel. Business is booming and boundaries are bulging. But below the surface, greed and injustice are festering. Hypocritical religious motions have replaced true worship, creating a false sense of security and a growing callousness to God's disciplining hand. Famine, drought, plague, death, destruction. Nothing can force the people to their knees. Amos, the farmer turned prophet, lashes out at sin, unflinchingly trying to visualize the nearness of God's judgment and mobilize the nation to repentance. Today, we're in the same place, awaiting the second coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. The nation, like a basket of rotten fruit, stands right for judgment because of its hypocrisy and spiritual indifference. The name Amos is derived from the Hebrew root Amos, to lift a burden, to carry. Thus, his name means burden or burden bearer. Amos lives up to the meaning of his name by bearing up under his divinely given burden of declaring judgment to rebellious Israel. The Greek and Latin title are both interliterated into English as Amos. Amen. During the time of Amos, Israel rejected the message given by God's prophet. He tried to speak to them, but they would not listen. God's own people didn't want to hear his voice telling his prophets not to prophesy, showing their disregard for his word. They even told the Nazarites to drink wine, not caring about their promise to God. And if you remember, the Nazarenes were a group of people that were not allowed to drink wine. Samson was from this group. Amen. There are people in every generation like this. Instead of seeking God and obeying his word, they reject anything in the Bible that they don't understand or agree with. 
they don't accept anything that doesn't line up with their opinion. Sadly, many people today have this attitude, even believers, even people who feel that they are followers of Jesus. They form the habit of being selective about what they believe and act upon. They feel free to pick and choose the Bible verses they will obey, reserving the right to reject the ones they dislike. Amen? Yet God cried out to them. He longed for them to listen to his voice, follow his spirit, and obey his word. Again, there is nothing new under the sun. The same thing we're doing today happened yesterday. Are you ready to hear God's word? Today, our theme is ready to hear God's word. Amen? And so God knows his people. And I must say, all of us are his people, the good and evil alike, because he is the one that created us, not Satan. Satan is the one that is trying to destroy what God created. And again, we need to open up our mind to realize this is how Satan functions in the world. And he's not going to change. Praise God. Think about your life. Are you one of these people? Realize that God wants you to know him more intimately and have a personal relationship with him. He wants to talk with you, teach you, bless you, and protect you, and give you power, wisdom, and understanding. But you cannot receive this abundant blessing while you try to play God. Surrender your life to him. Make him the Lord of your life and seek to do his will. Amen. Father, speak to us. You alone are God and Jesus is our Lord. We surrender our times, talents, and treasures to you. Help us to please and serve you. We thank you for the peace in Jerusalem and the peace around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.